Hey, it's your girl Kim Brooks, national best-selling author. And for today's word on kicking it with Kim Brooks, I want to talk about God's love versus man's conditional love. God's love versus man's conditional love. Now, I want to share with you um, about God's love. God's love for you is incomprehensible. You can't even understand it. He loves you with an everlasting love, which means it lasts forever. It's not based on what you do or don't do, whether you're good or bad according to society standards. It's based on who he is and the fact that he created you to be his and he loves his own. The way you know you're his is the day that you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in your heart. That's the day you became his. But guess what? You didn't choose him. He chose you first before the foundation of the world. And guess what? Anytime you miss it or make a mistake, God doesn't hold that or count that against you. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and say, Lord, forgive me for I've missed it. I've sinned. And the word sin, it just means missing the mark. A lot of times we think, you know, big sin, little sin, but God weighs them all the same. Anytime you miss the mark, it could be sexual sin or it could be God told you to do A and you did B. And that's sin because it's missing the mark. But guess what? God judges your heart. So it's not about how big the sin. It's about your willingness to quickly repent like David did. So I just want to mainly share with you about God's love, how it's not conditional oftentimes with man's love and even in relationships you have like a tit for tat thing going like as long as you do xyz abc as long as you make me happy i will in return make you happy as long as you do things that are pleasing in my sight then i will do things pleasing in your sight and the minute you do something i don't like or say something i don't like then i'm rejecting you whether it's silent treatment, whether it's not calling as much, whether it's ghosting for a few days or ghosting period, those are all conditional love. It's not based on God. It's not godly. It's not from God. I mean, that's one of the ways you'll know if someone was sent from God or not is if they ghost you, they're not sent by God because they don't have the character to handle you in a relationship. They don't know how to communicate and they're cowards. People who ghost are cowards. So that's a whole separate video for another day. But getting back to conditional love, man's conditional love versus God's love. So the goal in relationship, the, the goal in relationships is to be with someone who has the capacity to love you like Christ loves the church. Now, will that happen immediately? No, it's going to take some time. They're going to have to get to know you in a relationship. They're going to have to grow to love you as you get to know each other as you establish a more emotional connection a more stronger bond then that's where the love for you will grow but in a healthy relationship there is no tit for tat there is no emotional manipulation or um i've heard it's called emotional bullying where as long as you do this for me i'm gonna do this for you and the minute you do something i don't like i'm gonna withdraw from you I'm going to not talk to you. I'm going to punish you in some way. That's a key indicator where you know the relationship is not from God because our father does not treat us that way. So that's a way you'll know. God's love is agape. It's unconditional. Whereas man's love may be conditional, but the goal is to find a relationship where with someone who does not do those things, who does not give tit for tat, who does not emotionally manipulate because a lot of times when you're in relationships, you're vulnerable. And so the other person knows your likes and dislikes. They know your hot buttons. They know how to make you happy. They know how to put a smile on your face. But at the same time, they may know how to cause you to be disappointed or cause you to be sad or cause you to question. And that's another way you'll know it's not from God if they cause you to question yourself and they're not clear in their communication. And now you're wondering, oh my goodness, do they still feel the same way about me? What did I do wrong? 
if there's someone that puts you in a position where you're wondering what you did wrong and they're not communicating with you, that's an indicator that they're not sent by God for you because they're a manipulator. They're not from God. And it's okay to discover that because, again, the goal is to be in a relationship with a man who has a capacity to love you like Christ loves the church. So, just some reminders in scripture. Jeremiah 31, 3. God loved you with an everlasting love. It's not conditional. It's not based on what you did or didn't do because Jesus already paid the price for your sins. Jesus already paid the price of your sins of yesterday, today, and forever. So anytime you miss it, miss the mark, all you have to do is go to God, ask for forgiveness, and God immediately, ooh, that's a horrible snap. God immediately forgets. He throws it in the sea of forgetfulness. So because he forgets, now you have to forgive yourself receive God's forgiveness by forgiving yourself and continue because that's the thing sometimes in life when we are in relationships not even just romantic relationships but in, in life and you notice that you get rewarded when you act a certain way you get punished when you act a certain way and you kind of equate that to how God treats you and that's not the case it's not true it's simply not true God's love is not conditional. It's not based on your behavior. Now, we act a certain way because of our love for God, not because, you know, we feel out of obligation, but because of our love for him. You know, like the word says in John, if you love me, keep my commandments. So, you know, when we decide to be abstinent till marriage in our lifestyle, that's our way of showing our love to a great God who loves us regardless. His love is unconditional. So just a reminder there. And also John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. If you were the only person on earth, God still would have sent Jesus to die for you because he loves you that much. He will leave the 99 to go get the one, even if that's you. You know, he'll never leave you nor forsake you because he loves you that much. And then also Romans 5, 5, the love of God is shed abroad in your heart. So that means you have the capacity to love others the way God loves you. So that means you have the capacity to quickly forgive when people wrong you. You have the capacity to be patient with people. And even in the case of someone emotionally manipulating you or maybe you got out of a relationship where they did you wrong, you have the capacity to forgive that person and move on. And then you just have to rely on strength from within, <laughs> strength from God in order to do so. You may cry, you may feel bad, but don't wallow in it. Don't stay in it and activate that love and forgiveness for the other person kind of like when jesus said father forgive them for they know not what they do so when someone hurts you just think to yourself father forgive them for they know not what they did <laughs> you know because that's the last thing they want to do is hurt their daughter in christ so uh and then also ephesians 5 25 uh, husband loves your love your wives like christ loves the church so the goal again is to date someone who you notice and observe has a capacity to love you like christ loves the church where there's no manipulation there's clarity there's peace there's communication open and honest communication there's integrity and there's good character all right so if you've ever been in a situation where someone's love was conditional, if they were real manipulative, feel free to share in the comments. Let's talk about it. Let's kick it. I would love to hear your comments. Like, comment, share this video, subscribe to this channel. There'll be more videos to come. And as I always say, be and stay encouraged.